long-awaited post bag from China. It says Chwing or whatever. It says Chwing. Uh, rip this bag open. This is going to be another meter, I do believe. It took a couple weeks to get here. Oh, the box got mauled a little bit. I hope it's okay. That's the worst hit. And it's a new meter! Now this, I believe, is a relative to the uh, Kassan Tech that I reviewed earlier. The Kassan Tech isn't the real name. It's uh, sold under like at least a half dozen names I found after a little research. And I bought this under a different name. This is like the big brother to the meter I bought. And I, I bought it under a different brand name because I got it for like $10 cheaper that way on eBay instead of going through uh, um, Banggood or Amazon or somebody. I think I bought the other one from Amazon, the smaller version, the uh, Carlson Tech. So maybe I'll do a little mini review on it later. Looks nice. Yeah, I don't like the feel of the switch though. The little one had a nice feeling switch. This is uh, kind of nasty. I'm going to have to get batteries into it and everything else, I, I guess. They give me batteries, give me a probe, they gave me a uh, temperature probe and a probe, but they didn't give me batteries, apparently, unless they're in here with uh, guards on them. They may have batteries in there with uh, little guards. they got to peel the protection off the front, too. Nice. Now, one of the main things people like about this meter is it's got a 20 amp range on it. Which is more than a lot of meters carry. So it's become a real popular meter because it's cheap. And a lot of people are buying it for hemological you know, use, basically, just for that 20 amp function. If you believe the reviews. They're feeling better now that I've used it a little bit. The first time I went through, they felt really bad. Maybe they'll break in. It has the exact same green, this kind of a teal. Um, aqua teal type blue green but on the other meter where it was a thin housing a thin but very strong housing I'm not sure what plastic it is kind of like polypropylene or something almost this one's got a uh, a softy obviously uh, the other one doesn't have this it, the other one just you know the housing is just that color or this one, it comes off. Here's the little prop. How secure that is. Probably secure enough. Especially when the meter's in there, it'll be a little tighter. And a little bit of a smell to it. Okay, so I've undone the screw, Phillips screw. It doesn't have the uh, blaster ring like the other one did. Um, yeah, that one had that double edge on both battery car compartments. This one doesn't have that. Looks like it only takes two double A's, which they didn't give me. So I'm a little disappointed with this rubberized house uh, thing. It's actually vinyl. You can tell by the stink, and it's not terribly pliable. Uh, so much nicer if it was butyl. And this is a little bit funky to attach it to the rubber. So not a whole lot in this meter. It's a cob chip on board. So of course there's not much in here, but it's amazing how little's in here. If you look at uh, EEV blog and where he takes apart his his meter, his meter's form is very similar. That Bryman uh, meter of his is very similar in form and shape and appearance even to this meter. Also, this is uh, a dead clone of a certain fluke, so they're both kind of imitating the fluke, I guess. But if you look inside the Bryman on one of the on one of his uh, videos, uh, the repair one's a good one. You can see just how much more there is in that meter, and how much better the fusing is done. You know, just these little chintzy glass fuses compared to the uh, ceramic, you know, uh, blast-proof fuses. And this does have a little blast thing around the uh, battery. 
kind of neat the way the battery compartment works, I guess. But it's, it's very uh, cheap to produce. The uh, Unfortunately, that vinyl ring, I don't have it in the house here. I got it sitting in the porch because it just stinks too much. I even washed it by hand and uh, left it out there to dry, but it just reeks. I, I can't take it. That's unfortunate. That ring really does help, you know, help the meter. Maybe it'll uh, off-gas a little, but vinyl off-gas is so slow, it's probably going to stink for a long time. We'll see. Right now it's not going in the house. It's, I'm a little sensitive to it, but yuck. So, I generally like this meter, but I'm not sure I like it enough to recommend it over getting the cheaper version, the smaller version. Being smaller is handy. This is safer, you know, in that it has the four, it's a four-hole meter. None of the current functions are commoned up on the uh, red common, you know, the you have to move this to get to a current feature. Which is inherently safer, you're not going to accidentally go from measuring a kilovolt in the back of a TV or something and switch it into amps mode all of a sudden and fry your meter or fry yourself. The uh, case, this rubber part is shaped a lot like the Bryman. Probably not quite as much profile. The Bryman has a little more clearance on the probes. Um, so not exactly, but it's got the same cutout, the same basic look. Hopefully the Bryman is made out of better materials than this. This is that really reeky vinyl, uh, real cheap vinyl that just reeks to high heavens. Um, I don't know what the story is on that. It would be interesting if anybody knows the material science on why some vinyls are so much better than others. Maybe this is recycled vinyl and will access the vinyl chloride to make it all melt down. I don't know what the story is. Oh, I know it reeks. Um, it's calmed down a little. It's been in the porch for two days after I washed it thoroughly. And it's still pretty reeky. Don't know if I'm going to use it or not. The switch is nice and firm. It's kind of breaking in. At first it was uh, pretty damn hard. It, it's very firm. Which I guess is good. It's uh, there's no uncertainty in the detents. I mean, I could probably try to put it halfway in between, yeah. Yeah, not really. So I guess that's okay. I didn't like it at first. It's kind of grindy and tight at first. It's loosening up a little bit, not much. I like the backlight. Nice and bright. Big digits. You know, which is a good thing. It has the same feature or disadvantage, depending how you look at it, as its little brother. And that is, it's clear at this angle, or at any angle from here. But once you get about, you know, directly above it, 90 degrees to it, it's nice and clear. Too much more than that, it starts to fade out. Real quick, just like its uh, little brother does. And I think that's mostly, a, I'm not really showing it right in this light so much, let me see. You see, it does a real fade out. I'm pretty steep angle now, though. Now, a lot of people have bitched about that. It also has a fairly slow response on the ohm meter function. Um, not terrible. Not great. I'm sure some people would complain. Let's see if I can get into that mode. Yeah, that should be it. Might even be slower than a slow brother. Some people would complain about this. It's not terribly slow. It's not so slow that if you're going through a circuit, you're really gonna. I guess if you're going to a row of pins that are all like on a dip chip, maybe you'd be going fast enough where that could bother you. Uh, so it's that's probably good enough for most people. I can see it would be upset some people. It's a little slow. Everything else seems fine. I'll report if I see anything out of line, but like its little brother using the same chip and everything. Um, and I suspect it's going to be sm you know, right on and all the measurements like its brother was too. The little one was right on. But I'll be checking that. I'll report back if there is a problem there, but 
I'm assuming there isn't at this point. Is that all I wanted to say about this thing? I guess so. Um, it doesn't have the same profile. The Bryman's got a little extra profile on the holders so that you can wind the probes, the, uh, well, this is what someone was saying, anyway, one, one reviewer was saying. And you could wrap the leads around the thing and still have the probes sit in the sockets where you can't do that with most meters and probably couldn't do it with this meter because the Bryman had them a little bit more pulled out, a little bit more profile to them. So, yeah, not bad. Not great. It's probably marginal difference. For someone who's never going to be working on machines, if you're going to take this into an industrial setting or something like that, it's probably a better choice would be a fluke. But if you were going to use it for uh, semi-professional and bigger machinery and stuff like that, it does have this 20 amp function. But you saw the inside. It's pretty light duty inside. There's really no safety. Um, not an extreme amount of safety like you'd see in a professional meter. It's, uh, what do they claim anyway? They claim CAT 3 for 1,000 volts and CAT, uh, 5? For six, uh, CAT 4 for 600 volts, sorry. So, I think the other one is just rated CAT 3, 600. So it is rated a little better than the other one, but... You know, there's no slots in the PC board or anything hugely uh, careful. There's no ceramic fuses or anything. It's just some little glass jobs. And I showed that earlier.